and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. And today, we had the Ultimate Legend drop, so it's kind of like a tradition on this channel. Usually, we don't have much else in the game, so when there's not much else, I like to usually go over how the Legends affected the market, kind of go over kind of what's worth buying, what isn't worth buying, kind of the status out on Legend Saturday, because Legend Saturday usually is the best day to buy. And for all you guys commenting that the other day, yes, I know, I also agree with that. But sometimes when there's a new promo and stuff, there's a crash, there's other days to buy other than Saturday, but Saturday is usually the most consistent day regardless of content in the game so we're gonna head over to the auction block now guys if you're into the channel go down below hit that subscribe button turn that on to well, boys come join the family i greatly appreciate each and every one of you that come out every day even in march at this point you guys have been coming out for what is it like six seven months already i greatly appreciate all that thank you guys for all that thank you for all the support and give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel turn on the noti bell now let's head on down to the auction block let's kind of check out what's come out how the market's been affected by today's legend drops now like i said let's start from the top I've had more fun starting from the top, in my opinion. Now, Night Train Lane, 825. I told you guys specifically, when that Jalen Ramsey dropped, or once Car started dropping, Michael Ramsey, he would come down a little bit. He had no competition because he was the only physical-type cornerback. He's still better than, than Jalen Ramsey, but if Jalen Ramsey, who's not better than him, can bring him down, imagine what will happen when they actually release some 98 cornerbacks like a Champ Bailey. I'm going to wait because once another guy drops like that, like a Champ Bailey drops, it's very good and comparable to him. He will drop to like 600K. And that's when I'll get him, or I'll use my power pass on him, or on Lamar Jackson, however they decided it yet. I mean, I love my Mahomes, but me and Lamar go way back. We've went the whole year together, so it really depends. I'll have to see what I end up doing on that front. But, as far as Mahomes goes, Mahomes, well, like I said, he's not going to get touched until another quarterback comes out. Because right now, the only quarterback comparable in competitiveness to Mahomes is going to be Lamar Jackson, and you can't touch him either. So it actually makes Mahomes, Mahomes in a million coins is the budget option right now. So, we're going to need more quarterbacks, so when the Ultimate Legends keep dropping, when we get, like, that Steve Young Ultimate Legend, like, Steve Young Ultimate Legend will bring Mahomes down a bit, because he'll be a way more budgety option, and people would rather see the coins using him, as well as if they drop, like, a 98 Steve Young um, Ultimate Legend, you power him up to a 99, he's going to be highly comparable to Mahomes, and probably even a bit faster. So, that is where you're going to be getting to the point where you can get, like, a 90 speed with Mahomes stats, and that's when things are going to start getting kind of glitchy. So, we're definitely going to have to wait and see on that one. And then Lamar, like I said, new series update, Redux card. Power pass. Like, next series update is going to kill Lamar's value, hopefully, because there should be a, a power pass which people can then bypass him for his crazy price, as well as go on ahead and get his series redux card. So, hopefully, we see the rise and fall of Lamar finally come to an end and we just he just falls and that's it. And we can finally afford to get him and actually enjoy having Lamar in the game because, as uh, until recently, it was very. Like, think about it. When this guy come out, and first, like, three days of February, first six days of February, it's been a month and a half almost. No, exactly a month. It's been a month. And he's at he actually went up in price, I think. He's now at 3 million coins. So, I don't expect much from that. Now, let's go check over all the Ultimate Legend cards that have come today. And let's see. So, we go to Ultimate Legend. Let's see how the market was affected. What the new cards are at. Remember, my advice, never buy the new Ultimate Legends the day of. Buy the Ultimate Legends from a week before, the weeks before, because they will go down. The new ones will be high. Chuck Benar Bednarik. There we go. You don't want to say his uh, name wrong. Super, super cheap. Not a great card anyways, but there's some super cheap cards like Brian Waters for 224. That's one of the end game left guards, or at least borderline end game left guards. Julius Pepper's amazing. Kurt Warner's way too expensive. He's kind of ass. Troy Paul Miles is actually... Oh, no, he's down in press. Okay. Troy Paul Miles is amazing. Kellen Winslow. Otto Graham's cheap, but if, guys, if a brand new Ultimate Legend's cheap, it tells you what people think about him, truthfully. He's a wannabe Mahomes that can't pass as well and is a little bit slower, although powered up will have the same speed. But in my opinion, I don't think Otto Graham's worth it. Out of today's drops, who I did like, I did like Kevin Green. A lot of you guys were, like, clowning Kevin Green on Twitter and stuff. He is not as bad as you guys think, and that is showed just by his status, his thing, um, his price. If you compare him to Von Miller or you compare him to, like, TJ Watt, he's faster than most. He's the fastest, like, besides Lawrence Taylor on the left side, he's, like, one of the fastest left side linebackers right now. It's a pass rusher, and he gets 99 finesse move, close to 99 power move. Going to get probably close to 90 block shed, as well as, like, a 96 play rec. I don't really see the issue is we here with him. He looks really, really solid, not going to lie. Like, overall, looks super solid, and he's 6'3" which means in a zone with that with that speed, he could probably get you a pick or two, although I don't, I'd rather not have him there. And then Gale Sayers, he's dropped a million since our video, which it was expected. He should not be over a million coins. Saquon Barkley's better, hands down. Like, say, like not, okay, I shouldn't say hands down, but like, when you compare them, they end up with the same speed and about the same excel, fully powered up and chemmed up. They end up, with, uh, they end up close to the same agility. Saquon blows him away in carrying with a 99 carry and blows him away in catching with like an 82, 83 catching, fully powered up and chemmed up. 
as well as Saquon gets better break tackle than 99, although that might be 99 with him too. And the strength. Saquon's better by like six, uh, like six or five strengths, something like that. So in my opinion, overall, when you really look at it, Saquon's better, and he's a net, he's a, he's a regular card, no LTD on him, so he's gonna be a lot cheaper overall. And I mean, you could use your power players, which would be exactly the same thing. So it really comes down to you guys in terms of what you want to do there. But like I said, in my opinion, today's drops auto not worth it. Gale could be worth it if you want him as a preference uh, pick. Kevin Green's not bad at all. He's the kind of, he's the kind of guy to pick up. And overall, price and ultimate legends are coming down a little bit. Now remember, it's because people are buying packs. Things don't crash. Say like. Things are going to come out to 180, but as you can see, like these are usually like 225, 235. You get like a 20k discount. Again, doesn't sound like a lot, but if you get 10, if you buy 10 cards today at a 20k discount, you just save 200,000 coins, which is one fifth of a million coins. And when you put it in perspective, it actually is a lot of coins saved. Now, let's move on to the team of the year. Like I said, team of the year will not be touched for quite a while, and you guys are wondering why. Now, the reason team of the year won't be touched for quite a while is like I've been telling you guys, team of the year is a separate entity. There's no packs for them like you like. There's no, like ultimate legend packs like every Saturday that will bring them down. They're a steady entity in the game. Now, what will bring them down is cards that are better than them, consistently better, not like a little bit better. Because here's here's what I mean by that. First and foremost, ultimate legends being dropped for now are majority 96s with a few 97s, right? So that means that they're right in line with these ultimate legend with these uh, team of the year cards. So right now they're pretty much just like this is like this is the Madden progression. Right? I went like 96, 97, 96, 97, 96, 97 like that. It's going up, down, up, down, up, down. So no one sees a big enough difference. Like, truth be told, people see their Calais Campbell at, say, 96, NFL Honors 97, let's just say, or DeAndre Hopkins 97 powered up. They see that as the same as the Ultimate Legend 97. They need a reason to change. Now you drop a 98, 99 style receiver, you're like, okay, that's enough. DeAndre Hopkins got to go. So until they see that, these cards won't change much. So if you've been holding on to the team of the years, they will crash. Just not yet. you got to wait for them to actually start progressing the overall chain. That should do it in for the team of the years at some point. When will it do it in? Couldn't exactly tell you. Now, NFL Combine is an entirely different animal. NFL Combine was held down just by the way the promo was put together. It kept them very cheap. Like, these are great buys. 220K for 96 overalls. And not just that, not, not about their overalls, but for Combine cards, which are super athletic. Dunn's Award's a great buy, in my opinion. And honestly, I really did like Alvin Kamara, even as a backup. I'm going to end up holding on to him. I had a lot of fun with him in my gameplay. And then Deion Sanders, of course. Vita Bay, that just shows you how bad this LTD card was. He is 313K for an LTD card. That is horrific. That is so cheap. And then Dion 379, he's going to stay steady around there. Could he go up if cards start going up in value? Possibly. Jalen Ramsey is an amazing card. I think he's like a budget uh, Night Train lane. You could end up getting him. He's still pretty cheap for LTD. Although, in my opinion, I really do love the Deion Sanders. But here's the thing. If the issue with Deion Sanders, in my opinion, with upgrading him, isn't about that his card. It's kind of like a money grab if you guys really think about it. Now, I'm going to explain why. So, Deion Sanders, before you got this card, if you powered up the old Deion Sanders... He had 99 speed, 98 speed. He already had 98 speed on my team. He already had 98 excel. He had like 96, 97 agility. He already had close to 99 man. He had like 97 zone. Like, powered up and chemmed up. He was already good. He was already as good as this one. Now, what does this one make my Dion better at? He literally gave him like plus like plus one excel. Like, like like because you have to realize when my Dion powered up, chemmed up with John Madden and everything, he was already close to all his maxes. Like, Dion always early in the year gets close to all of his maxes. That's the issue with him, and his next cards only increase the press, because that's the only thing he sucks at, but in my opinion, 80 to an 82 press isn't worth 400k, so you have to really think about it. If you want to be like real budgety about it, you have to realize that Deion Sanders, you might not have to actually buy this one to really upgrade him, because he's kind of ready as good as you think, but up to you guys on that. I'm just getting that out there, because I want to let you guys know that, in reality, Deion Sanders is a little overrated, just in terms of the fact that you're not really making a big upgrade here. He's kind of very similar to what you think he already is. So in that case, Jalen Ramsey might even be a better buy. Put him against the 95 Dion you have, and he'll probably play exactly. He'll probably play as a better duo than the Dion you have, the upgraded Dion with a lower overall cornerback. That's just my opinion. But guys, that's pretty much what I'm gonna cover here. I'm not really gonna go down much more because I know you guys probably only care about the upper tiers at this point. So I want to cover more of the upper stuff. 94 to 95s, things are going down as a whole, not by a lot, but Ultimate Legends will be down to today. Today's always a good day to pick up pieces, by the way, guys. So if you want to build any cards, always check the pieces before you buy them. Always check to see if their pieces are going for less. Because sometimes on Legend Saturday, people are constantly pulling. You can get some pretty good deals. But guys, that pretty much wraps up this video. I'm not going to start going from 80s to 88s to 90s anymore, 90, even 92s. Because that's kind of irrelevant to a lot of people at this point. I'll keep that for my budget videos. But I don't know how many of you guys actually care about their pricing. But once cover this, I feel like we did a pretty good job. We covered everything. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. As per usual, guys, if you did enjoy the video, always give it a thumbs up. Greatly appreciate all the support in the channel, guys. Always helps out when you guys drop a thumbs up. Especially for the channel. Uh, comment down below if you guys have any questions. Hit me up on Twitter if you have any questions. And subscribe to the channel, boys. Turn on the bell. 
Hope you guys enjoyed. This will be the second and only other video for the day today. I wasn't going to do a Gale Sayers gameplay, but I wasn't really feeling it. I want to start doing more creative stuff, more so than just playing with the guy cards that we have here. Maybe I'm going to start some series pretty soon, so stay tuned for all that. But that's about it. Make sure to subscribe, turn on the new bell, boys. Come join the family. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to check out today's content video. Let's go over the earlier, previously released Legends, and I'm about it. That's about it, guys. Peace.